Welcome back, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week I'm excited to present the total cost of owning and operating an HVAC system. Without further ado, here's the training. All right, so how many times have you, as a salesperson, got all the way to the end of your presentation and the homeowner has sticker shock? A very high percentage, I'm sure. Like in most industries, a price objection is probably one of the most common. If you presented a unique solution based on a complete analysis, I would expect the system to cost a lot. Don't worry, I'm not gonna teach you a sales process in just one video. I do, however, wanna address the total cost of ownership and how many people stop at just this first price, the initial investment. The initial investment is the first cost of the system. It's paid to the contractor for design, installation, possibly a few other service-related add-ons. Many time, a homeowner is so fixated on this initial investment, they never even consider the total cost of ownership and operation. This is always the easiest to understand and typically is the topic du jour, right? Since most salespeople have continuing training on addressing the price objection on the initial investment, this has been well rehearsed and second nature to most HVAC companies. But what about the rest, like operating costs? By including operating costs in your presentation, it will be easier to quantify the additional investment initially in higher efficient equipment. This is particularly important when switching fuel sources like say from heating oil to cold climate heat pumps. Yes, tremendous savings in your oil bill could be had, but how much will it cost in electricity? Some manufacturers provide calculators for precisely this by comparing the cost per million BTUs per hour across both fuels oil and electric. This is also a beneficial way to compare less performing products or quotes to what your solution is. All right, let's talk about maintenance and repair costs. Supposing the homeowner has your company complete planned maintenance, sometimes twice annually, the cost over about 15 years should be explained. Don't you agree? I used to hear, I thought I just had to clean and replace the filters all the time. I have seen many companies include multiple years of maintenance in their initial investment to help start the routine and build out their maintenance contract program. I used to include the first year myself, the cost built into the job, billed to our service department, and then prove the value on the maintenance call when we're renewing within the year. The maintenance cost could easily amount to $4,500, right? If you look at 15 years times two calls annually, times just $150 or whatever amount you actually charge. But it would certainly reduce the unexpected, unknown, and impossible to calculate repair costs if you didn't. All right, let's talk about future replacement costs. Please consider introducing a conversation about future replacement costs in your presentation as well. This would be what the cost is to replace the same equipment we're preparing to install now, just 15 years later. Obviously, the talk should be around expectations of equipment efficiency and pricing at that point. I haven't had too many complain, but every once in a while, I would hear about how efficient their old boiler, furnace, or heat pump was, and it's only half the price. Well, it is less efficient, and that was about 15 years ago, right? You don't necessarily have to put a total on paper, but having the conversation will really help set expectations on equipment efficiency, operating costs, service rates, and future replacement. I found the best way to build rapport is just complete candor. And talking about some sensitive subjects that others, like low bidders, just forget to mention. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.